Man accused of killing a Herman police officer and injuring another on Sunday night has been charged. 35-year-old Kenneth Simpson is facing first-degree murder, assault, and other weapons charges. ABC 17's Ethan Hines spent the day in Herman today combing through a probable cause statement, which has more details on Simpson's arrest. On Sunday night, Herman police officers responded to a call of an irate person here at Casey's Convenience in Herman, Missouri. That person was Kenneth Simpson, a man who had multiple warrants out of both Warren as well as Franklin County. According to a probable cause statement from police, both officers approached Simpson in an attempt to identify him. That's when police say he began to get agitated and refused to give his real name to Griffith and Sullentrup. After a few moments of discussion, Officer Sullentrup got a cell phone with Simpson's picture on it from his patrol car and held it up to his face, making a positive ID. At that moment, Simpson stepped back and continued to deny his identity. Officer Griffith then took out handcuffs and told him he was under arrest. According to the PC statement, Simpson turned away with his right hand, took out a 40 caliber handgun, and began firing. Both Sullentrup and Griffith were shot. According to footage described in the PC statement, both officers did not have their weapons out while trying to arrest Simpson. Simpson shot several rounds and began to move through the store while still shooting, and that's when Sergeant Griffith returned fire. Simpson then went to a nearby residence where a standoff ensued for roughly 14 hours before he was taken into police custody. Officer Griffith was pronounced dead at the Herman Area District Hospital just before 11 on Sunday night, while Officer Sullentrup was taken to a St. Louis area hospital. Now, according to that probable cause statement, during an interview that was held with law enforcement and Simpson, Simpson thought that he was going to die and wanted to, quote, commit suicide by police. He has an arraignment hearing tomorrow at 8 a.m. Reporting from Herman, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. Thanks to Ethan for that reporting tonight. A visitation is scheduled for Sergeant Griffith at Owensville High School on Friday, starting at 9 in the morning. His funeral will be at the same location at 2 in the afternoon.